hi everyone welcome back to another diy tutorial so in this video i'm going to be showing you how i recreate this beautiful dress this is two a one dress you can use it as blouse or as a gown so if this is something you are interested on keep on watching and let's get into the tutorial okay guys so let's get into the tutorial real quick okay without wasting your time so on the table here i have my scissors i have my multi-purpose uh, French curve ruler here. I have my tape. I have the chalk that I'm going to use to mark all my measurement. Okay, so um, So we are going to begin here. I have this fabric here. So this is the fabric I'm going to use this is um, uh, I think basically men usually use it to make their clothes especially for men, but I'm making this dress for a female so I have three yard here three yard should be enough for you to recreate this dress. Okay, so I think the best the best way or the best uh yes the best way for you to get this uh style come out is when you you make it oversized okay so I would recommend you to use three yards three yards should be enough for anybody on any size okay three yards is going to be more than enough for you to recreate this dress okay so I'm going to be using three yards of this fabric you can use fab uh, you can use um Ankara you can use chiffon you can use damask you can use in fact any fabric that can that you, you can lay your hand on just try you never can tell how it may turn out okay so that is what we're going to do today in this tutorial so we're going to start now so uh, before we start this tutorial i've already gone ahead to cut the this fabric already i have separate them okay the front and the back so um the width i use for the front here just a sec so this is one and a half yard and this is one and a half yard so i have divided them into two so that i can get the front and the back okay so right now i'm going to assemble it now so that we can get started with taking our measurement okay so i have um, arranged them here so this is the front and this is the back underneath okay and it's unfold like i said I have three yard here and I divide them into two, like I divide the three yard into two. So here is one and a half yard and here is one and a half yard, okay? So, um, then, yeah. So the next we're going to do here, I'm going to start by creating my starting point. So the length, the length of this dress is going to be by 60, okay? All right, guys, so let's begin now. So the first thing I'm going to do is to draw out my starting point. So I'm going to be keeping allowance about 0 0.75, okay? So I will keep allowance from the shoulder here, like 0 0.75, so that I can also be able to add my shoulder joining, okay? So take note, 0 0.75 here. So I hope you can see the line. So uh, now that I have taken my uh, marking my shoulder, my sh uh, now that I have created my starting points now, the next thing I'm going to do here, I'm going to be inserting the neck width of three inches, okay? The neck width is going to be three inches and then for the back neck depth is going to be one inch. All right, so one inch here. So I'm going to come to this end here, okay? I'm going to come to this end. I'm going to mark one inch for shoulder slope. Oh yeah, I'm going to mark one inch for shoulder slope here. Okay, one inch for shoulder slope. And then I'm going to connect this using a straight line to meet to where my three inches neck width is going to be, okay? So I have my last tail ruler here. I'm going to place it from where I mark the one inch here and I'll connect it to meet where my three inches neck width is going to be, okay? So after connecting the straight line, the next thing now, I'm going to get my French curve rule and connect the back neck line. I hope you can see the front neck depth is going to be uh, 
by three inches so i will just get my uh, curve rule like this and i'll place it like this to create my neckline that is the front okay so this is the front neck depth so after connecting this line the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to come to this uh where i mark my shoulder slope i'm going to mark my slip opening okay i'm going to be using a slip opening of um uh, i'm going to use a slip opening of 16 inches right here so for me to have a straight line connecting uh, creating the shape over here i'm going to find out how many inches i have from the show from this first line here to where the 16 inches is is 17 inches so i'm going to come down i'm going to come to this side here okay from my shoulder line here i'm going to mark the 17 inches right here And I will connect it. I'm not going to connect it this much, so I'll just make a, a little bit of line here. All right? So after marking the 17 inches from here, from the shoulder to here, this is the 17 inches line here. Okay, 17 inches. So I'm going to insert my round hip circumference. The round hip circumference divided by 4 is 13. The hip is 52 divided by 4 is 13. And then I'm going to add um, seven. I'm going to add eight, seven inches. Okay, I'm going to add seven inches to this measurement. So that is what we call here. All right, guys. So after marking the seven inches here, adding seven inches to my right to the round hip circumference. So I'm going to leave with about two inches right here. Okay, so these two inches is going to be enough for me to fold in my slip opening and also create a, a space for the elastic that I'm going to fix on it, okay? So the next thing I'm going to do here, I'm just going to uh, connect this in a manner that is going to just connect to the end, okay? So I'm just going to take this line all the way to the end of the, uh, to the, to the, end of the, the, uh, the dress, okay? So I'll connect this with this manner all the way to the end so that is how i'm going to cut this out okay so i'm going to start now by cutting this out so what i'm going to do i'm going to add my 0 0.5 inch allowance here for the shoulder joining okay don't forget to add your joining allowance in 0 0.5 inch here okay So now that I have cut, uh, cut out this line now, I'm going to separate the back and the front so that I can cut out the front neckline, okay? So now I'm going to cut out the front neckline. So guys, after the marking the neckline, so I went off camera, not off camera, actually I made a tutorial, I show how to make this um, planket, okay, how to add planket to your bodies. So if you haven't seen the tutorial, go and watch the tutorial so that you can be able to make yours before you come back here. So I, I don't want to occupy the everything in one video i i also want you to be able to watch that one separately so you can understand it more because i know if i add this into the video here it's going to be too pilot and i'm not going to be may, i may not be able to pay attention or take my time to explain it the way it should for you to understand so that is why i decided to make the tutorial separate okay 
So if you haven't seen the tutorial, click on the link on the description box. The tutorial is there. And uh, on the screen, you're going to see the tutorial also on the screen. And uh, if you can't find it there, then you check on the comment section. I'm going to be leaving the link right there, okay? Make sure you like and subscribe. Also share the video, okay? All right, so let's, uh, let's continue from here. This is the back pattern, okay? So this is the back pattern. This is the wrong side facing me. So I'm going to turn it. So this is my front pattern. I'm going to place the wrong side, uh, the right side facing the right side for the back, okay? So this is how the inside is looking like. This is how the inside is looking like. As you can see, it's looking so clean. There is no rough edges around here. So yeah, this is how the inside is looking. So I'm going to place the shoulder to shoulder the front shoulder and the back shoulder together so that we can go to the sewing machine to join it okay so we're going to start by pinning the shoulder the right side facing the right side so that i can go to the sewing machine to join the shoulder together okay now that i've done pin this I will go to my sewing machine now i'm going to join it with 0 0.5 inch allowance and also the same thing will apply to this part okay i'm going to join it with 0 0.5 inch allowance and i will be back so i have joined my shoulder i have joined my two shoulder together like my front and my back shoulder together and I also i have whipped the rough edges or this uh, same allowance okay so the next thing I'm going to do now is to take my round width circumference so that I can create my uh, neckline or collar to, that I'm going to use on my dress, okay? So I have done a tutorial for this bishop collar. In case if you haven't seen it, the tutorial is going to be on the description box, okay? You can go and watch it, learn how to make a bishop collar for yourself and then you come back for this one for the tutorial, okay? The width I use on this one is one inch, okay? So right now, I'm going to place my collar. I'm going to place it from the, uh, from the right side facing the right side, okay? And then I'm going to pin this down so that I can go to the sewing machine to join my collar to my dress. So once I'm done pinning, I will head back to my sewing machine now to join it round with 0 0.5 inch allowance, okay? And uh, after then, I will come back and show you. So I have done join my collar to my bodies and also I have uh, folded back, okay? I have folded, if you have watched how I made a bishop collar, you should understand this part very well, okay? So right now, I will go back to my sewing machine to stop stitch this down, okay? I'm going to stop stitch this down. So I have done stop stitch it and also I have give it a very good press. Look at how beautiful this is looking like, okay? So uh, this is how it's going to look like. So afterward now. So guys, the next step I'm going to do now is to fold in my sleeve opening with 0 0.5 inch. I'm creating elastic channel where I'm going to be facing in my uh, elastic, okay? You know the sleeve has elastic, okay? So I'm going to create with 0 0.5 inch. And also for the hemming part, I'm going to fold in the hemming part with 0 0.5 inch allowance before I will close down the side, okay? So right now, I'm on the sewing machine now. I'm going to start now by uh, folding in uh, my sleeve opening. From the sleeve opening, I'm folding it with 0 0.5 inch allowance so that I can create elastic channel, okay? So uh, this is the hemming part from the front, okay? You're going to fold in 0 0.5 inch from the lower part. The front is going to be separate. You're going to fold it first before you close down the side, okay? Fold this, the front uh, separate and the back separate because you're going to stitch it in a way that you will have um, a clean finish from the part where your strap is going to come out from, okay? I don't know if you understand this part. So right now, I'm going to fix in my elastic to my sleeves. So the elastic I have here is 12 inches. My client bicep uh, round circumference of my client bicep is um is 13 inches and then I minus one inch from that and it so I have 12 so still on that 12 I'm going to uh use 0 0.75 for the side joining okay so that means I have less than uh 12 inches so I have 11.2 
inches at the end of the day for the, the weight of the elastic. So once I'm done from here, I'm going to go and prepare my strap. I'm going to prepare this strap of camera, okay? And it's going to be four strap, okay? So let's head back to the cutting table. Okay, guys, so my straps is ready. I have four pieces of the straps here. And uh, each length is about, let me take the measurements. This is about, this is 59, okay? This is 59 inches long. So, and um, I have gone ahead to iron the seam allowance down so that I will go back to the sewing machine to stop stitch this part to create uh, the straps channel, okay? So, this part, I have already pinned this part down. So, as you can see, this is what you need to do. You're going to pin down and then go back to the sewing machine to run a straight stitch all the way down okay and then um, i'm going to mark five inches okay i'm going to mark five inches below before i will place my strap so that is five from the armhole here down here you mark five inches so that is where the strap is going to begin okay so uh, let me go and stop stitch this and i will be back soon okay let me go and stop stitch this part i will come back before we join uh, fits in the straps okay so i have uh, stop stitch this i have stitched it with a straight line all the way to here this is where i stopped okay i stopped somewhere so that i can be able to pass through my extend the strap all the way up so the same thing here okay so now the next thing we're going to do is to fit in the strap so the thing I'm using to fix in my strap is called loop toner, okay? So if you don't know loop toner, when you go to a tailoring shop, tell the, uh, the person who is uh, selling that you want a loop toner, okay? I'm going to put the picture on the screen so that you see. Tell them you want a loop toner. So this thing has been very, very helpful to me. All this, all this while that I've been making a dress, uh, fixing a elastic or strap to my dress. So before you stop to know where your your strap is going to end, you need to place it like this, okay? And you're going to be take, marking five inches below, okay? So this is where the five inches stop. So this is where my strap is going to be, okay? It's going to be 4.5, let's say 4.5. The strap is going to stop exactly 4.5, okay? This is exactly 4.5 right here, and then I'm going to pin this down, okay? Going to pin this down so that i can fix the second one all right so we have come to the end of this tutorial i hope you learned something from this channel today if you watch this video to this moment i want to say a very big thank you for watching and uh, if you're new to my channel please subscribe and don't forget to turn on your notification bell okay and help me share this video as well all right thank you once again have a good morning good afternoon good evening wherever you're watching this video from uh, I will see you on my next tutorial, uh, a tutorial for a short pants with the elastic waistband, okay? Yeah, see ya.